Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Our date today, February 7, 2016. Our discussion is victory. Victory is found in 60 times and 58 Bible verses. We know before the Exodus that God fought many uh, battles for the Israelites, causing them to have victory, and they conquered their enemies. Again, when they came to the Exodus, Moses led them out of Egypt, and when they got to the Red Sea, Moses raised his arms. The Red Sea parted with walls on each side. The great winds blew, and there, the Israelites were able to walk over on dry land. When they got to the other side, the pursuers started pursuing them, which were the Egyptians. Moses laid, put down his arms, and the waters flowed and killed the Egyptians. So this is one battle that was fought for the Israelites. As they continued for 40 years in the forest, some, some books say the desert, God ended up help, fighting many battles for them, taking care of them. When they got to the Jordan River, Moses ended up dying. Joshua took over. God showed Joshua how to cross the Jordan, how to defeat Jericho. What ended up happening is they were to take the Ark of the Covenant with priests carrying it as it should be carried, come to the edge of the water. As they would touch the water, the Jordan would part as it did for the Red Sea. And they were to cross over on dry land. Once everybody was across, they were to put 12 stones in the middle of that Jordan and then the ark, and everyone should come to the other side. The, the Jordan would flow freely again. When they got outside Jericho, they were to march around Jericho for six days in silence. On the seventh day, they were to march around six times in silence. On the seventh time, they were supposed to yell out and blow their trumpets and the walls would be tumbling down. And what ended up happening is the people of that area were defeated. God fought that battle. Elisha was commanded an archer to shoot an arrow out of a window. This would be the Lord's arrow. Where the arrow flew, it hit a a king, and would cause victory o over Syria. And you will be complete conquerors over the Syrians. In Psalm 44.7, only you can give us victory over those who hate us and justice. Go forth to all inspiring deeds. Proverbs 21.31 Go ahead and prepare for conflict, but victory Victory comes from God. Matthew twelve twenty. He does not crush the weak or crunch the smallest hope. He will end all conflict with his final victory. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. So, my dear brothers, since future victory is sure, be strong and steady, always abounding in the Lord's work, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is is ever wasted, as it would be if there were no resurrection. As I mentioned, God will fight many battles when we are weak and make us victorious over our enemies. David was victorious over Goliath because he believed that God fought the battle for him. Jesus was victorious over Satan at the cross, and through his resurrection we have eternal life. And we are freed from sin. Satan will be defeated again during the last days and end up in Hades. Victory is a free gift from God, and victory only comes from God. Go in truth and humility, and you will have victory over sadness. Now on this Sunday morning, I want you to think about the victory we have in Jesus, and have a blessed day.